Hey Melissa, this is Frank from Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you guys can do uh, yourselves to help bring in more business just by better utilizing your website and your Google business profile. I know you guys service the uh, Monroe area, but I don't know if you were looking to expand out to the Athens area since it doesn't seem like there's many uh, searches on, on well water services each month. Uh, it may make sense to try to grow to the Athens area. And uh, to do that, you could utilize Google and get onto a couple of different sections of this Google search results page. So the second sec or this first section here, um, since there are no advertisements at the top, is called the Google Map Pack. And to get into this, it's really based on the strength of your Google business profile. And I see that you guys have one set up. Um, so my recommendations here would be to fill this out completely, um, particularly the description section, which is a 750 character space for you to enter in some of the uh, details of your company. I recommend using uh, local buyer intent keywords in that because uh, that will help Google match up your company profile to what's being searched. Uh, so this is a search uh, for well water services in Athens, by the way. And so aside from filling out the Google business profile in its entirety, the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your company is listed in more online directories or places on the Internet than these guys are listed. And so the online directories is the easiest way to do that. So it just takes a little bit of time to go out to uh, the directory sites and enter in your business name, address, and phone number the exact same way that you have it mentioned here. Uh, since Google is a popularity contest, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you are in more directories than these guys. And that you're, by having your name, address, and phone number listed consistently the same way in all those directories, uh, that's going to help you outnumber these guys. And so there are thousands of, dir of directories out there like Yelp.com and Angie's List and nextdoor.com, just to name a few, but many of them are free to, to join. It just, like I said, takes time to go out to the sites and enter that information. But 30 to 40% of the traffic, and in this case, since there's no advertisements, it's probably 50% of the traffic, at least, that's going to go to the businesses listed here. And then the next thing, uh, or next section down on the results page is this, uh, what's known as the organic section here. And to rank high in the organic section is based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. So my recommendation on your content is you could to be considered like an authoritative site. They look for like Google looks for like 1500 to 2000 words on your homepage. Um, but since there's not a lot of competition or good co competing websites, your, the amount of content you have on your site may be fine. Um, but the recommendation here will be to add location page uh, so that you have one for Monroe and one for Athens and any other areas that you might service um, because that will enable you to mention Athens um, frequently in your content, which is, is really one of the keys to getting into the Google search page, is uh, that you have the local buyer intent keyword phrase, which is the you know basically the phrase you want to be found for online. And since you're a service company, your local buyer intent keyword phrase is important because it references the service that you provide and the locations you provide it in. So if you had a separate page here for Athens, say, and you could put, you know, well water services, uh, Athens into your content and have that kind of densely populated in your content. That would allow you or Google to match up your content to the search term and that would make you rank high here. The other piece of the puzzle besides content is your backlinks profile. And so backlinks are just links from other websites over to your website and they act as an endorsement of your site by those sites and that gives legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes and helps to uh, really give you a higher uh, strength score. And, and if you're ranked to good quality sites that aren't spammy in nature but, more, but are more authoritative, that's going to give you a high DR score. And so that's, these scores help you to rank uh, on the Google search page because the DR score is your trust score with Google and the UR score is your strength score. So you have a pretty decent DR score, uh, usually a 30 or higher is a strong site, so yours is getting close to that, but your UR score is, is not so high. You want these to be in a one-to-one -one relationship as much as possible, which means that these backlinks that you have, or these are unique referring domains, aren't necessarily very strong domains. Uh, they, they could be pretty uh, spammy, um, but, but you are outranking or, or beating your competitors who don't have any backlinks. Uh, so the reason for that is because they have the the keyword that in, includes Athens. And so, you know, if you, like, again, if you, if you had a location page 
that referenced Athens and the service that you provide, it would be pretty easy for your website to outrank them in Athens because you have a stronger backlinks profile than they do. So this is AthensPlumbing.com, and this is their back page with the well water page. So, but you could, that's what you, that's really all you need to be if you wanted to get into this section here. Uh, so that would be my recommendation to you. Um, the help that would bring in more leads if you were looking to grow your business, uh, specifically in the Athens area. Looks like you already uh, dominate the Monroe um, search results page uh, for the, for this type of service. So that's why I'm, I was just looking at Athens to show you uh, what it would take to you know build up your your web page and and start making uh, a good online presence in that area because that that will help you to uh, you know garner those searches or this and and the business that results from those services. So uh, hopefully that information was helpful. If you would mind just leaving me a reply uh, to let me know if it was so that I can continue to add value to small businesses, I would appreciate that. Thanks and have a great day.